Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. So the message we are channeling today will be a weekly guidance message for the sign of Capricorn. If you want to skip straight through to the message, there will be a timestamp below in the description box for rules on how to receive tarot messages. Check the description box below, especially if you're confused, guys. I've laid it all out down there. And for your full tarot scope, be sure to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus, which is the planet that's associated with love and relationships. Now, before we jump in, I'm going to clear the space. I'm going to set the intention during this time. I invite you to clear your own thoughts, to set your own intentions by thinking of the person or asking a specific question that's on your mind. So let's dive in. Spirit, guides, Archangel Uriel, Raphael, and Michael, I call upon you. Thank you for allowing the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to channel these messages. Please allow a clear message to come through to those who need it. Please protect me, the seeker, in the space from any negative entities. Thank you again, Spirit, guides, Archangels. Amen. All right, Capricorn, let's dive in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Capricorn spirit. What do my Capricorn friends need to know? Please and thank you. The energy surrounding you this week, Capricorn, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hermit energy. This is a very independent energy. For some reason, Capricorn, I feel like you're spending a lot of time alone in this energy. Challenge here, we have the Four of Wands, the Devil with the Queen of Swords. In the outcome, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse, the Two of Cups in the reverse, and the Queen of Wands. I definitely feel like you're trying to isolate yourself from the world. I feel like you're really trying to go dig deep here with the Hermit energy. And there's some decision here that you're getting clear on. With the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hermit energy. And it has to do with your stability and maybe even your independence from a particular person. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. The challenge here, Capricorn, is this marriage has become toxic. It's exactly how I see this playing out here. This person that you're connected to in your life that at one point brought you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, has turned cold. And I feel here this person... <laughs> has a very negative energy especially when maybe it's you trigger them maybe there's been a lot of water under the bridge we're going to clarify all of that here in a moment in the outcome I feel here there's going to be a separation period now whether this is going to be a long term or this is just for now and for a lot of you this is what you're really trying to figure out do I stay or do I go so let's clarify Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit energy. Now, if you find the message is helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Hermit. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The Emperor in the reverse. This person for a lot of you is very controlling, very manipulative. I feel here they may use their coldness as a way to control the situation. So they know that maybe you'll leave them alone or you'll do certain things as long as they keep you at a distance, if that makes sense. And maybe this is you, Capricorn, keeping this person at a distance, but I definitely feel like there's 
a distance between you and this person. I feel here, Capricorn, you're really asking yourself, is, is this working? How is this working? Do I really see myself with this person long term? I feel like these are all questions that you're going through in, right now uh, in your mind, in your heart. So let's clarify the Four of Wands, the Devil Energy, the Queen of Swords. Two of Cups in the reverse. Capricorn. What I see coming out here is maybe you've overanalyzed the situation for some time and now you're just needing a break but what if this break is like a trial period to show you what this ending is really going to be like and what if you enjoy it see I feel what's coming out here is you you've thought about walking away for so long that you're used to sitting in this energy and instead of thinking about what you want to do, I feel like spirit is guiding you to take action. Spirit is guiding you to take action here, Capricorn. It's time to, what's done is done. What's dead is dead. It's time to close out chapters. It's time to free ourselves from these heavy energies that are holding us back into new positive directions and there may be some things that you're having to sacrifice to move forward and that could be why you don't want to make this decision but I do feel like you are being guided to take action and maybe this weekend isn't the right time because it is a holiday but I feel here the time is soon so preparing for this ending is going to be the key Let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you're interested in a personal reading by me, the information on how to schedule is all linked below in the description box. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you find the messages resonating, helpful with your situation, give it a butterfly emoji for transformation. Give it a moving forward emoji for moving on. And there we have it. Four of swords in the reverse. It's time to take action here. Capricorn. No more waiting, no more planning, no more overthinking, overanalyzing what you should do in this situation. It's time to take action. And how I see this playing out, Capricorn, is you are delaying an ending with a particular person in your life uh, because you are afraid of their reaction. This was going to be a difficult transition to make. Your foundation was going to be shook, so you were waiting until all your ducks were in a row, waiting, 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 overthinking, overanalyzing. It's time. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward. It's time to put your one foot in front of the other and make this happen. Soul truth message coming out for your reading here. Cap Capricorn is perfect for your message. What excuse am I making right now? No more waiting. There will never be a good enough time. The time is now. Today's soul action, if it's important enough to you, you will find a way. Today, make a decision and do it. Even if you don't feel ready, listen to your heart and you will be led. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. It's time to take action. And if that includes walking away from somebody in your life that's been holding you back, the time is now. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.